Hello again. Welcome to all of you. We are excited to have you with us again today. Welcome to our church, Emmanuel Church of the Deaf. I am your deacon, Pat Graybill. I am Father Ray Fleming. Last week, our focus was on the Holy Spirit. Today, our focus is on the Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three who are one. Come and join with us to learn more about how wonderful God is. Amen. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for Mass, we turn to God to ask for his support, his help, and his mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and grant us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any god venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation? By testings, by signs, and wonders. By war with strong hand and outstretched arm. And by great terrors. All of which the Lord, your God, did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must know now and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. 
Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. But you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Thank you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee. to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Trinity. Growing up, there were many different teachers, different priests, who kept trying to explain it to me. I was a good student. My brain, it's formulaic or symbolic. You know, it has to happen within my head. I find a mental image and I make comparisons. Oh, it's like a shamrock. It has the three leaves and the stem, and there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the three make up the one. Oh, I got it. Or it's like an egg. You have the shell and the white and the yolk, the yellow, and the three parts become one. That's an egg. Okay. Did I understand it completely? No, but okay. I passed. I passed. Did communion, my confirmation. I became a deacon. And still, hmm. But I am thankful to God for allowing me to live such a long life. Understanding more before it was very basic, three in one. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is a family united in love. And he has invited all of us to join. He wants us to be his children, part of the same family. Love. And from love we learn. It helps us to understand more. Up to now, it seems that we, within the world, are lost. The church, again, teaches us about love. But this week... I needed to read in English, not my first language. I was reading an old prayer. Blessed be God the Father, and the only begotten Son of God, and also the Holy Spirit. You see the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the last line of the prayer For he has shown us his merciful love. Now, 
and I'm reading, and I see he. He who? Which? He the Father? Or he Jesus? The Holy Spirit? No, the three are one. He. God is he. You have the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They are all three aspects within one God. It is not three, each individual God. Pagans, they don't believe in one God. They have many gods. And they're bowing down, changing honors, making offerings. Uh, they fear. Sometimes we have our own gods. Like the newspaper. Social media. Are receiving bad news. Uh, worrying. Where is God? Where? We are lucky. We come and gather at church because the Holy Spirit has called us. So we understand more who he is, what he wants. I understand. And I will try my best to condense it. I mean, the Bible, it's full of meaning and explanation. But there's a few important points. In the first reading, we have Moses, who shared God's words with the people of Israel because it was time to go to the promised land. But from then on, what shall we do? And Moses said, No. No. no not, it's not knowing. It's not like a fact but know in your heart it is deeper and fix in your heart the Lord is God. Fix. Let's replace that word with remember. It's like fix. You know, I'm, I'm not hammering it into my head. But remember the Lord is God. We are not God. Each of you is not God. There is one God. Moses warned the people he wouldn't be joining them. He died before he would enter the promised land. But he knew there is good news out there. He fixed the Lord. The Lord is God. God is wonderful. He has a plan for us. When I was growing up, I didn't know. I thought God was mad with me, full of consequences. But now I understand he has a wonderful plan for us. For example, he freed the slaves in Egypt and led them to the promised land. God cherished them. He cared for them. His love, that is powerful. Oh, and that, that is our God. God didn't stay in heaven. He didn't stay there. He sent his son. That part of himself. Remember, the one God became human to show us what it means to love one another. Jesus showed us he died on the cross and was resurrected. He beat death and sin. That is our God. And now, Jesus sits with the Father in heaven, drawing people to him. Under his feet, because he has the authority of heaven and earth. He rules. He draws us in like a magnet. And that's the Holy Spirit. We listen. We take in. 
and we are distracted, drawn away by our own gods, like the newspaper, gossip, discrimination, acting against others, casting people out. We must give this up and return and follow our one God. God is singular, and we are lucky he has invited us into his family. That is why we come here to our banquet of love. Wow. You want that, yes? You want to be invited, yes, yes? Then amen. fix to remember his love for us we are strengthened to ask for his help for our church that will always show us his love and peace show Jesus's way and to always adopt people in his will we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For people around the world, including ourselves, that are sometimes straying because of war or hate, or maybe they feel isolated. But instead, we are drawn back to allow His love so that we may enter into his peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. Today, we pray for those people who are sick and suffering. Our sister, Mel Chua, who has been moved to hospice. May God help support and protect her. May bless her and bless all of those that are sick and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer for those people that have died, including our church members from the past, like Ruth, Shorn, mm. Bob Allen, Hamilton, Chuck DiVincenzo, and the many that have died. May they all now rest in peace in God's hands as he rains down his grace to comfort and support the family and friends that are grieving and heartbroken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. And for the individual prayers that we hold this week, that it was Mother's Day, and we pray for all of the mothers, both living and dead, and at peace. No, that was like two weeks ago. I forgot. You're right. You're right. But we pray for our mothers regardless. Yes, we'll pray for Mary, the mother of our church. My calendar is so messed up. I need to fix my head. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. May God help us to always love each other in the same way that you love us. Help us to always remember our family. You, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the family of the Trinity, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread and wine we offer you. Made from human hands, may it become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. As we gather together with the angels and the powers of heaven to cry out with one voice, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night of his last supper, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he first took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Now we proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the way that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all and with your spirit. Christ's peace is here. Share that peace with those around you. Peace. Peace to you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the Lord is our one God. This communion is his gift. For those of you that cannot receive this at this time and share in his glory, we have a prayer for you so that God will still be within you and you are within God. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord, our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go now with peace in your heart and give thanks to the Lord that we may remember him as the one true God. Thanks be to God. <laughs>